Control 20 KHTS Home 411 show hosted by Randall Winner of Randall Winter Construction. And of course, I failed to mention this, but you can go to constructionsantaclarita.com for more information on Randall Winter Construction. So make sure you check that out. Ricardo Corrales. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay, good. I said that right. And uh, Ricardo's Heating and Air. We're going to be talking with him next. And uh, Randall, I'll let you take That's it That's right. Here. Ricardo's Heating and Air. It's not a one-man show, though, right? You no, got it's a, you not. Got a few Actually, guys out there in the trucks, don't you? Yeah, I have four trucks out there running right now. So That's great. And they're busy, too, aren't they? We're busy. We've been working 10, 12 hours days right now because of this heat wave we're having. So how long have you been in business, Ricardo? I've been in business for 13 years and uh, local, locally here in Santa Clarita, and I've actually have 27 years experience. Oh, so you, you should know a little bit about heating uh, and air. A little bit, yes. Hey, so no, speaking of knowing about heating and air, is there some organization that uh, tests these pe guys? There's the a, an organization called uh, NATE. It actually stands for uh, North American technician excellence and they um, test technicians throughout the nation and certify them and the certification is recognized nation wow. nationwide so are your guys uh, Nate yes certified? we we are a Nate certified company and uh, if you go to the Nate website uh, you'll find us under their website there as an approved company Nate certified so I don't have to worry you guys know what they're doing when they get to my house right they already check mine out so yes we have well, you, you do that like uh, I signed up for something what's that called well we have a what's called a preventative maintenance um, program where we come out to your home twice a year uh, during the spring and autumn to get you ready for the summer and the uh, winter and uh, it's something that you need to do to keep your system running efficiently and not to run into any problems in the middle of a hot day or a cold night. Yeah. So it's good to have that checkup, and that way we're yes. not going to find ourselves surprised. Right. And, and you know, uh, an air conditioning unit is going to break down on the hottest day of the summer because everything is running hot and parts are going to give up during that time. So, so you're able to check out the parts? and We're able to check out the and parts and, and test them to see if they're um, in, in good condition. Uh, if they're not, then at that time, it will give you the option to replace it. Okay. Cool, cool. And your company, I know, is licensed and insured? Cause yeah, we're licensed, um, insured, and uh, also we carry our worksman's comp insurance, uh, which is very important that you must know, you know, for other contractors. Just so I, all you listeners out there know, we only, uh, we check everybody out in my company before they work on any of my jobs they have to be licensed insured with workers comp and Ricardo does do work for me Thome does work for me so uh, we only have people on this show that are fully licensed tested <laughs> tr true to, true to the, the nature of the business let's put it that way that's right all right Ricardo so uh what do you recommend to make your system run efficiently? Do you recommend that they do the warranty, or is there anything a homeowner can do or look for to make sure there's no problems? Well, what are my little filter thing on my electronic thing? Yeah, the thermostats yeah. have a uh, timer where they remind you to change your filter. We recommend that your filter be replaced every three months. Uh, that's also per the manufacturer instructions. Uh, you should replace it every three months. And it, and it really varies on, you know, your usage. Um, if you have any pets in the house, they will also, because they shed, uh, you know, clog up your filter a lot sooner. So you might want to check it every month to see how it looks, but we recommend every three months. And then, you know, have your uh, equipment checked. So, so I know some people have their, like me, I have my heating or FAU, my fan unit, up in the attic. Okay. So, to check my filters because I took the filters out, I have electronic. Mm -hmm. I have to go up in the, into the attic. Into the attic. Well, so that's something that's that we can take care of, also. Well, you do take care of it yes. for me, but I mean, not all homeowners can check. They, they, there's no way they have right. To crawl um, up and a lot of those specialty filters, 
uh, get installed next to the uh, furnace and a lot of the furnaces yes there are in the attics and it makes it a little bit difficult to get up there but that's something that we can take care of uh, for you on a preventative maintenance program okay but that should be every three months too then huh uh, the, those should be at least um, every six months if you have like an electronic air cleaner they need to be inspected every six months okay and then when you tune up a system what does that consist of besides cleaning up the filters or replacing the filters? When we tune up a system, we, um, we check the refrigerant charge of the air conditioning unit. Uh, we inspect all the wiring, make sure everything is tight, uh, make sure your fuses are nice and, and tight. If you have a bad connection, you're going to create heat in the wire, and that's going to discolorate the uh, jacket of the wire and that's an indication that that wire needs to be replaced and uh, and tightened up because it's a loose connection and things like that uh, we inspect we oil the motors if they need to be oiled uh, and we also clean the outdoor unit uh, it does pull the air through the fins and it collects a lot of dirt and so after a while if you don't clean that dirt off your unit doesn't work as efficiently and you use a lot of electricity. So can you clean that like with a hose or do you got to clean uh, it? Yes, there, you can clean it out with water. Uh, there are some solutions that you can use like Simple Green that we use and some other type of solutions when it gets really dirty. It gets in there and, and it, you know, really cleans the dirt out. Okay, and the difference between the tune-up and maintenance, what is that? Is it the same thing? The maintenance thing? is something that you routinely have done, like I said, twice a year. Uh, and the tune-up is something that if you haven't had the uh, air, the maintenance done, that's the tune-up. We recommend to have that done. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. Kyle's giving me the signal. It's time to take a break. So thanks. It Ricardo. is time to take that. Ricardo's heating and air. We're going to talk more with him on the Home Four One Show on AM Twelve Twenty KHTS. 